Hey guys, so you wanna know how to go fast in Half-Life 2? I'm gonna tell you, it's really easy. There's no big science about it. You don't need any scripts, you don't need any configs, you don't need any old version of the game. You just need unmodded, unscripted current version of Half-Life. First off, to make stuff easier, you can bind scrolling on your mouse to jumping. You can jump with spacebar too, but this is much better. You can do it via console, just like this, or via options, it doesn't matter. And now when you are scrolling with your wheel, you're jumping. That means that jumping is now way easier. The first way of going fast, and the easiest one, that you can do is turning around and then jump backwards while crouched. If you do this and continue jumping without holding S, you will go faster and faster. And you can launch yourself in the air and fly like a plane. Another way is to look forwards, jump, turn around, crouch and continue jumping. Same concept, different start, but works as good. Now an entirely different way, sideways hopping, not backwards. To do sideways hopping, you have to jump forwards, crouch, hold A and S or D and S, depending on the direction where you are looking, look slightly to the side and continue jumping while still holding all those keys. Notice that here, when you are doing it sideways, you hold S, but when you are doing it backwards, you cannot hold S. Now, a different way to do backwards hopping. Instead of crouching, I'm gonna be walking. Since crouching is slower than walking, it won't give me as much speed, but that's useful in some situations. Everything else, you basically do the same way as you would with the crouching variant of this method. I like to combine this walking backwards method with the crouched backwards method. It's pretty easy to switch between them when you are going fast already. Another combination that you can do is go sideways while walking. This is also very fast, very effective and useful. Plus when combined with others, you gain big amount of speed. Now, you can also gain speed without holding walk or crouch buttons, but it's much less effective, much slower. You gain much less speed and it's not that easy to use it from start. I recommend using this method only when you already have big amount of speed and you don't want to gain that much anymore. So this can be used to control your speed, but of course it all needs a lot of practice in order to get the feel of controlling your speed. There's one more way, but in order to be able to perform it from the beginning you have to know how to gain about 60% more speed from your first jump. So to do that you have to do this thing called circus strafe where you basically do a strafe on the ground and jump. This also makes the backwards hopping without walk or crouch much more effective. Thanks to circus strafing we can do this third method, forward hopping, where just before you hit the ground you quickly hold S and jump. The trick in this method is that when you hold S all the time it would just slow you down insanely, so it's the hardest method, but you gain the biggest amount of speed. It can be done crouched, walking or just standing, no problem. Now that you know how movement in Half-Life 2 works, you can watch my second video on the screen where I comment on a run of this part of the game where I explain what combinations of movement I am using in order to be as fast as possible. Thanks for watching, if you find this helpful you can leave a like or a comment, or you can watch my other Half-Life 2 videos where I have fun with the game's engine. Subscribe for more videos like this one.